Good morning, folks. We have a lot to see today. There were three notable solar eruptions, including the X-Class flare we broke down in last night's video. There was interesting seismicity, and we've got stories on the galactic core and on the AMOC. We are starting with the last 24 hours on the sun. It began with the X-Class blast bottom right, then a large eruption occurred on the incoming limb over on the left, and finally a southward plasma release from center disk near the large sunspots we've been watching. The X-ray flux shows just how much flaring has taken place, quite a bit of M-class activity and the one X-class flare. As we described last night, could get a glancing blow from the X-class eruption. That would be Sunday night or Monday, likely to be minor. The incoming limb eruption is likely not going to be able to deliver one, and then the breakout southward from near center disk. Hopefully, we recall back in January, we said that the next mini uptick was due here in February. We've certainly got it, haven't we? That mini cycle is about as solid as it gets. We've been in a level 2 proton storm for several hours here, probably going to continue for a good bit today, mostly a polar cap absorption event there. And one of the previous potential glancing blows impacted overnight and as forecast it was weak, no geomagnetic storm activity from it. Folks, Hawaii was shaking a good bit yesterday. The 6.3 was downgraded all the way to 5.7 and was followed by several aftershocks. Hopefully no volcanic aftermath from that, but it is on the flank of Mauna Loa. There was also a 4.6 near Los Angeles felt across the area. A few days ago, we had suggested that the California earthquake signals were returning very weakly at first, and I am hoping the 4.6 is all we're going to get, but the risk window is not completely closed as of now. We're off to the galactic core, where they say that the central black hole is spinning extremely quickly. Now, regardless of what its physical nature actually is, the nucleus of the Milky Way is now confirmed to be spinning fast enough for breakout kicks, which could range from jet outbursts to minor flaring to super waves in theory. Basically, the hope is that it's one of the first two at minor levels, and not the latter, which would have the potential to disrupt stars throughout the galaxy. Last but not least, the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. For the fifth time now, we have evidence that it's tipping towards collapse. Now, usually, we have to remind everyone that these articles are leaving out the fact that such an event is a cooling mark for the planet because they don't want to say so. This time, there's a clear indication of it with the impact being mostly felt where the most warming has been seen, the Arctic. We bang the drum once again. The changing oceans are going to reverse the temperature trends on this planet very soon. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.